Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a demonstration of Aragon AI. This is the online software responsible for creating those viral corporate headshots for your LinkedIn profile and for your resume. You simply upload a bunch of selfies and photos from your social media, and the advanced photographic AI will generate high quality, corporate photos of you in a bunch of different outfits and in different scenarios. Now, if you saw my previous video, I've already done this for myself, and I had lots of different photos in different scenarios over a number of years. The results I got were great. I got about 10 headshots that I really loved, but there was also some really funny things that happened with the AI because I had different haircuts in different photos. In some, I was smiling. In some, I was serious. I also wanted to see how this worked on a female. So a friend of mine called Katie has happily volunteered some photos of herself, which were taken all on the same day. I've got about 16 photos to train the eye. They say about 10 to 14 is the minimum that you'd want to work with. So if you would like to see the results I get and how this tool works, stick around and we'll be doing this right now. So first of all, you're going to need to log into your account or create one if you don't have one yet. If you decide to go on and use Aragon AI after seeing this video, make sure you use the link in the pinned comment and the description of this video. That will be your way of supporting our channel and saying thank you for trying this tool out so you can see how it works before you give it a go. So this is my account. You can see I've previously created some selfies of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a fresh one and I'm going to select create headshot. It's now going to walk me through a series of prompts. It says, use existing photos to generate mind-blowing headshots with one of the most advanced AIs ever created. I'm going to select try now. Like with any photo shoot, you cannot expect to get all the pictures perfect. You will get great pictures you can use in your LinkedIn profile, your resume, and your portfolio. Now, I did experience this the first time around. You do get a few weird photos included, but they give you about 200 to choose from. So I'm going to click that I acknowledge that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my headshots. So last time I selected the basic, which is the most popular, and that's for $39. Now compared to the 500 to thousand dollars you'd pay for a corporate photo shoot, that is very affordable. What was cool is that when I already paid for this basic plan, which gives you the choice of 80 high quality headshots, I actually got upgraded for free to 200 headshots. I think that may have been a first time bonus or something like that. I'm gonna see what happens this time if I just go ahead with the basic again. So I'm gonna purchase that and I'll see you on the next screen. So here you enter your name and your profession and the headshot reason, and this will help the AI to generate something more appropriate for what you're looking for. So you can select things like police officer, plumber, pharmacist, and it will put you in outfits more geared towards that. For this one, I want something uh, fairly generic so that we don't get anything niched down too much. So I'm gonna select something like sales representative or marketing specialist. Let's go with marketing specialist. I'm gonna select the headshot reason as company website. Now you pop in some details about your general appearance. Now it tells you to pick photos with good angles. So where your face is not too far or too close and that you're looking at the camera. It wants reasonably good quality photos and a few different facial expressions. Got to make sure obviously it's the same person and that you get photos with a few different backgrounds. One thing that I learned from the last one is that I had two photos of me with my shaved head sort of like this and a lot of the other photos I had a bit longer hair and it really freaked out the AI. So it suggests having consistent haircut and consistent facial hair. If you have glasses, make sure all of the photos are with the glasses or all of them are without. I'm gonna go, okay, I understand. Then it just gives you some ideas of what are bad uploads. You can read through the list there. I'm going to continue. And then it's got some final recommendations. I'm gonna click, okay, I understand the above. So here are all the photos of my friend Katie. This is what she looks like. There's a few different photos of her with different backgrounds. All of these were taken on the same day or within a couple of days. So to upload these photos I'm just going to grab the folder that they're in and then drag and drop them onto the website right here so it says I've got 20 files selected so I actually had 20 photos which is good I'm going to hit upload on all of those it's going to spend a moment uploading all of those files and there we go okay so it's rejected a bunch of these images because it says they are too similar 
So what I'm actually going to do is find a few more photos of her from her social media platform to then train this AI a little bit more successfully. So I found uh, about six new images of Katie from her social media profile. I'm going to upload those and hopefully these ones uh, satisfy the requirements so we can move on to the next step. Well, it's happy with those photos, so I'm going to proceed to the next step and select Submit. Now, this next step would take around two hours as the AI generates your photos. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to return back with you to show you the results. So straight away, I can tell that these turned out better than mine because just scrolling through, they're more uniform. Now, as it did say in the warning, not all of them actually look like her. This one looks a lot like Katie. That looks a lot like Katie. But you can see here that the AI is kind of freaked out and added like lines on the face there. So there will be some really weird ones. This doesn't look anything like Katie, but this one here is quite good. This one here has worked out quite well on the face, but it's got the dreaded mutant arm right there. One hand, two hand, three hands and two watches bonus two watches. As with mine, it's thrown in some pictures that look absolutely nothing like the original photos. That is like an entirely different human. It's provided some without glasses, so that's pretty cool. I've noticed that this round is sort of like wigged out on the dimples here because Katie's sort of got a couple of dimples and it's like given quite a few with some weird, like this one here, it's sort of like totally freaked out but there are plenty of headshots where it's worked fine it's nice that they've included some full body shots as well so you might be able to use this for a portfolio of sorts like a business portfolio so the top ones were more like uh, casual in the forest and stuff but this lot here have worked out a lot better these are like real corporate looking sort of shots so I'm going to pick the best photos I'm going to send these through to Katie I'm sure she's going to be thrilled about how they worked out and she'll have a couple that she can choose from to use for her corporate profile so that's basically it for this tutorial. I had a lot of interest on the previous video and a lot of people have actually signed up and used Aragon AI through the link that I left on that video. So thank you so much to those people who did that. So if you would like to try this out for yourself, you can be kind to us and use the link that we've left in the pinned comment and the description of this video. Those are of course affiliate links for this channel, like I teach affiliate marketing, digital business and making a full-time income through content creation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.